before I go any further, as I was talking of perspectives, I have got a small skit which is very interesting, which I'm sure is going to make uh, a lot of sense to you. First, I would like you to see at this slide, it is having white spots, maybe thousands of them. And this picture was taken from the Hubble telescope. And amazingly, the angle of coverage was as if, if you put a sand at the tip of your finger, a single grain of sand, and you extend your arm to the arm's length and look through your eyes at the sand grain. So the angle that it will cover is the angle of the coverage of this photograph, a very, very small angle. And you can see thousands of these white spots. Most of them are blurred, very few are the sharp ones. The blurred stars, spots are galaxies. And I'll show, inshallah, and I'll, we'll just narrate how big are these galaxies having billions and billions, each galaxy having a billion, uh, having billions and billions of stars. Okay, I, I would like you to enjoy the uh, fantastic trip, and then I'll come back again to you.
we went to the cosmos both outside and then within ourselves and alhamdulillah you can see the coherence between the two cosmos just a few facts talking about the outer cosmos from the world in our view or sight a human sight it is said that we can observe 350 billion large galaxies 350 billion large galaxies large galaxies the definition of large galaxy is a galaxy having 200 billion stars or more sun is one of the middle sized stars right just imagine and you can also see seven trillion dwarf galaxies dwarf galaxies are galaxies having less than 200 billion stars seven trillion dwarf galaxies and they estimate that the, in their visible universe we can observe from earth through vision maybe through powerful telescope 30 billion trillion stars i repeat 30 billion trillion stars very important subhanallah you can look into the vastness of the universe i'll i'll, I'll take you into another domain as you see this is a needle which we use to sew our clothes right and then you can see at the top is the tip of the needle which pricks if you put it against your skin what do you think how many atoms can the tip of the needle accommodate any guess subhanallah it's five trillion hydrogen atoms hydrogen atom being the smallest one so any number even carbon trillions of carbon atoms just at the pricking tip of the needle right and as we have seen each atom is like a solar system where we have a nucleus and electrons revolving around the nucleus a question for you do you think there can be civilizations or creations of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the on the electrons that anything possesses what is your idea why not each electron can have is maybe having the potential of having creations as discussed for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator nothing is too big or nothing is too small he can design the smallest the smallest and the smallest of the things without any limits and the biggest the biggest of the things without any limits for him belongs the space when we say something is big or small we are considering the space right for allah no space is small for his designs or no space is too big for his design right very important thing so this should give us the idea of how what is our situation in this universe this should blow our balloon off <laughs> right blow the balloon of our pride which we carry in ourselves we are just human beings a tiny creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but a beautiful creation nothing is small or big in the eyes of the creator the eyes of the creator see the elephant same as an ant there is no difference between an ant and an elephant in the eyes of the creator it may be before us because elephant is many times bigger than us and ant is many times smaller than us but for the creator there is no difference of how the big how big the things are or how smaller this will also lead us to think 
<laughs> or to realize the vastness or the vastness of the frontiers of our learning, 